Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to begin creation of our choose character script. Now we created the choose character manager in the previous video. And now we're going to create a script that's going to work alongside this. So we'll begin by creating a new C sharp script. And we will just call this choose character. And then we'll open it up for editing. We'll come at the very top and we'll add a new using statement. So we can actually load into a new scene. So using Unity Engine dot and we want scene management. Let's close that off. And as always, we'll add our little block of code at the very top just to say when we created this script. And here, just below that block, we'll add, if we use the square type of brackets, the require component, open and close brackets inside type of we'll open and close again and of audio source and we'll put that into the comments add audio source when attaching the script and let me just get rid of that and this script isn't going to derive from mono behavior. Instead, it's going to derive from the previous script. Choose character manager. And this is the quickest, most efficient way to have two scripts work together. If I just save that off there for a moment and downsize mono develop. So, the choose character manager, hopefully you can see it clear enough here, this one still derives from mono behavior. So we've got sort of a chain effect. We've got this script that derives from this script, the manager script, that then in turn derives from mono behavior. So, if any of you don't understand how this works, it's something I really suggest you read up about. But um, as I said, it's basically just a quick way of linking scripts together, or a quick and efficient way. So let's come back to the script itself. And it, in fact, let's add the script now. We can add it direct to the main camera so choose character script then we'll come back to mono develop and we'll begin creation of the variables so the first one of type public float underscore choose character and we just want import timer let's close that line off into the comments And we'll just say defines choose character import timer. We'll come below public float underscore choose character import delay. And let's give this a value. We'll say equal to 1f. Close that line off into the comments defines choose character import delay and we'll come below here so this is to create a input delay similar to how we did within the main menu for the analog stick of our controller so when we're pressing left and right to choose between characters it doesn't go through at an incredible fast speed there is an input timer so you'll have to manually move the stick each time 
to actually select the next character along otherwise it will just cycle through far too fast so with that said we'll come here we'll say private and we want of type game object make sure it's with the capital G underscore character demo close that line off into the comments and we'll say defines naming convention for selected character game object and the reason for that is if I downsize mono develop how we're going to have the choose character system work is we're actually going to import the 3d game object for each one of the characters you have into the scene around here and uh, we'll we will at a later date have them cycling through a number of their animations their attacking animations you know so you can have actually get a good look at the character and what it does um, but that will come later for now we just want to get the different models into the scene and um, the character demo because that's what it's going to do it's going to do a little demo for each character while they're selected that's what this variable's for and we'll probably also add some GUI at a much later date this comes when we'll probably have some sort of stats for the characters so we'll have characters with different strengths different speeds and such like so that's what the way this screen is going to work the 3d character object with some GUI about the characters stats here to the right and with that in place let's come below here and we'll create this of type public and of type int underscore character select state we'll close the line off into the comments and let's say defines naming convention for selected character state and yes we are going to use another switch block this is to make sure we completely clear off in this case destroy the previous selected character and load in the correct character in in line um, depending on the button press within the character select screen so because we are going to create another switch block, let's get the enum in place. So we'll make this of type private enum character select and we'll just say models. Let's open and close there. Uh, yeah, let's put a comment in very quickly. So we'll say it defines um yeah defines which character to load and we'll come inside here so i have a number of different colored robots for my characters and i'll input the first one which is the black robot and i'm going to say it's going to be equal to zero comma and we're going to copy that and we need to paste it in until we have the correct amount for our project i have eight characters so i'll continue pasting in till we have eight in which yep we do and then we'll just go through and change the names and the numbers and obviously you need to do this as many times as necessary for your project. You may be working on five or six models. You may have a dozen or more. It does not matter. This script will work 
regardless of how many characters you have you just need to input them here but let's continue on so we'll change this to the white robot let's change the number to one the next one is the red we'll change that to two and we've just got to keep going through so the next one is the blue robot three brown four and the next one for green five and we're nearly done now so the penultimate one is the pink and finally for the gold and on the last one you must remember to delete the comma on the end as well and we'll change that to seven and regardless of how many characters you have you do, can just add them just remember to add the comma to the last one and then add in the next one along remembering to leave the comma off this one now and just count upwards so if you want to add more characters that's how you would do it but let's go back and there's just one more thing we can get done in this lesson I think so we'll say of type private void we'll say character select and we'll just say call this manager let's open and close brackets open and close again we'll come to the void start and we'll say character select manager let's open and close close the line off into the comments um we'll say call and let's just copy that naming convention in character select manager on start up and we'll save that off there We've already added the script to the camera. Now we can see the variables displayed. The audio source has been attached automatically as it should be. And I think we'll leave it here for this lesson because the next lessons are dealing with very specific functionality within this script. So I think it would be best to start them with a in a new video. So we'll leave it here for now and as always I hope you enjoyed this lesson, I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now.